Okay, so I have a, another drill here for you, and this one is a force follow and force draw drill. So what you're going to do is you're going to pocket the 10 ball, and you're going to try and make the cue ball run into each one of these balls, and um, just different ones. You could have somebody say one ball and then try and hit the one ball or seven ball. So what you need to do here is you need to aim the 10 if you're shooting a straight shot almost into the point pretty close into the, into the pocket. And then when you hit the cue ball, you're going to hit, be hitting the cue ball very close to the center. And you're going to raise the tip up maybe one millimeter for one of the balls, or another millimeter for the other one, or go low. So you're only changing the tip placement by very small increments. And then you can hit each one of these balls. All right, I'll try it and I'll have him call out a ball. Uh, let's do six ball. Six ball. Close. Five ball. Okay. All right. Next one. Three ball. Three ball. This will be a little bit above center. Okay. I hit the three. Okay. Next one. Uh, one ball. One ball. I was a little more above center there. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go five. Five. This is just a touch below. Pretty close. Okay. Might as well keep going. Mm -hmm. Let's go seven. Seven. I overdid it. Okay, well that's good enough. You get the idea. I hit that one a little bit too far below. I was probably a tip below center there. If I would have been three quarters of a tip, I might have hit the seven. So you get the idea. It's going to give you a fine-tuned uh, cue ball control and that'll help you to, to run into balls or get through tight areas. And uh, I think this is a really good drill, especially for people that are just starting out. All right, well if you guys liked what I had to say here, uh, check out my School of Pool DVDs and you can go to schoolofpool.com and I'll have some other videos on there for you and uh, hope you like it. Thank you.